about, think about everything that you see around you now. Think about um, and, and what it's made up of. And the seat that you're sitting on, your clothes, your hair, um, the roof here, if you go outside, the clouds, the sun, you know, if you're looking out at night, the stars, everything you can see is made up of, of atoms. And they're made up of even smaller, tiny particles, subatomic objects, protons, neutrons, and electrons. And what quantum physics is, is really, it's, it's kind of the physics or the, the laws of really how these tiny particles really move around and collide or otherwise interact with each other. So to give you kind of an idea of the scale, um, these subatomic particles, these subatomic objects there, they're ridiculously small. So an atom is around about, think a grain of sand is about the smallest thing you can see with the naked eye. And so uh, an atom is around about a million, uh, sorry, um, yeah, a million times smaller than that. That's, that's kind of hard to get your head around. It's almost impossible to. So much so, I've actually brought in a grain of sand, and, um, and I have it here. Kinda, you probably can't see it, but I'm just going to pass it around. <laughs> and if you could just take that, please. So, oh, actually. No, I kind of lost it there. I really do want to do this genuinely. I really do have something here. OK. So just pass it around. And the last person that gets, if they could just hand it back at the end there. <laughs> Great. OK. So <coughs> neutrons and protons and electrons are even smaller than that. So we're talking about something very, very tiny. And really, it's how these kind of particles move around and collide with each other. So that's, that's quantum physics. So why, why, why the heck should you care about quantum physics? Well, I'll, I'll give you some reasons. For many people, I think it would be the, s the single greatest scientific advance in our, in our understanding of the universe, understanding of the world around us. And it describes most of the universe, pretty much everything except for gravity, at least as far as we know, as far as we, we've been able to do experiments. So in terms of kind of the scope and breadth of quantum physics, it's just unprecedented. It describes why, you know, stars and these distant galaxies shine, all fundamentally why, why plants grow from seeds up to big trees or flowers, why, you know, two chemicals mix together and bond together in the way that they do. So it's incredibly, <coughs> incredibly broad and incredibly rich. Um, not only that, it's amazingly accurate. So since the 1920s when it was discovered, thousands upon thousands of experiments have been done in quantum physics, and every single one of them has agreed with quantum physics. So it's incredibly well battle-tested. And not only that, the, the degree of, of accuracy and agreement with experiment is unprecedented in any theory in science beforehand. And it predicts some properties of nature, some of electrons, for example, down to within you know, one part in 100 billion. So it's, um, it's, it's amazingly accurate. Um, also, you know, those kind of sort of fundamental um, reasons aside, it's, it's incredibly practical. And the 